My name is Dr. Saman Maliki. I'm an assistant professor of oncology and pathology laboratory medicine here at Western University, also a translational immuno-oncology scientist with Lawson Health Research Institute. We've been hearing a lot about the importance of maintaining good gut biome health these days. Does the gut biome have any impact on the development and management of cancer? The gut microbiome uh, you hear that term quite a bit. If you want to think about it as this massive collection of microorganisms that live uh, in the gut. You have to think about this gut microbiome like this big pharmacy within our body. These organisms that are living with us and they have evolved to live with us, they are able to produce a lot of molecules that are useful to our body. Is the gut microbiome important for the management of cancer? And uh, is it actually impor important in oncology? It turns out that it is. In the context of cancer, it's been shown that microbiome can shift, the cancer itself can shift the microbiome, can become less diverse, so that kind of negatively affect the functions of this massive pharmacy that exists within our body that are making all these molecules that are important for the health of our body. So we are, uh, and others have tried methods to restore the health of gut microbiome in patients. In fact, in a study that we did uh, here in Canada for the first time, uh, and I can say that for the first time in the world, we actually used healthy donor stool and gave that to patients through a process called fecal microbiome transplantation. Uh, we gave the patients immunotherapy, and those patients did really, really well. These were the melanoma patients. And now we have expanded that to a phase two trial we expanded it from melanoma to other cancers. We've done it now with our collaborators in lung cancer. Uh, we've now finished a cohort of patients with kidney cancer. We are opening a trial very soon in pancreatic cancer. And uh, we also just got funded from CRHR to do a trial in breast cancer. We've, uh, we would give the patients fecal transplants, change the microbiome, and the patients can receive that treatment. And we are hoping that by restoring the microbiome in all those patients, we can also improve the function of the immunotherapy drug they're receiving because we know microbiome can, can regulate the immune response. And if you have a healthy microbiome, the immune response will be boosted and that can actually help uh, with the activity and effectiveness of those immunotherapy drugs.